In this video, I show you our updated graphs and all the charting tools that are now available in Edgewonk to help you further understand your trading performance, but also your trading behavior. And we're starting here on the left in the equity graph. The equity graph is, as the name suggests, a line graph that shows you your equity development and your account growth over time. You can also change the units. And here we are seeing the gain loss in the terms of your account currency. You can also choose to show your account balance here. You can choose to show the percentage gain of your trading account or the R multiple. We have a few options here to further analyze your trading performance in the equity graph. First, you can also display your trading performance without fees if you are tracking fees. You can overlay the tilt meter if you're using the tilt meter function in Edgewonk, which helps you understand the level of discipline in your trading. You can also overlay a moving average, for example, the 20 or the 50 period moving average. And this helps you to understand losing streaks, winning streaks, and where your trading performance currently is in the comparison to your overall trading history. When you hover over the line graph, you will see that there is a pop-up coming up. And if you click on any data point in the equity graph, it will bring up the underlying trade that is behind this data point. You can review your trades, you can make notes, you can also, of course, add screenshots to the trade and also make edits right away here. Underneath the equity graph, you will see a few summary statistics, how many trades you have taken, the amount of winning trades, losing trades, the win rate, the expectancy, which means the average value per trade, your profit factor, the overall performance, your biggest winning trade and your biggest losing trade as well. You can also, of course, use all the filters that are available in Edgewonk in the different equity graphs and in all the other charting tools. But of course, Edgewonk offers much more than just the equity graph. And we can move on to the chart lab now. And here we have a lot of different charting tools and graphs waiting for you. We can start, first of all, with the consecutive wins and losses. And this analyzes and visualizes the consecutive winning and losing streaks in Edgewonk. For example, in this trading journal, the trader has winning streaks with two wins in a row, three wins in a row, four, five, six, all the way up to seven winners in a row. You can also change it to consecutive losses to analyze your losing streaks. In this case, the trader only has losing streaks with two or three trades in a row. Custom statistics are probably one of our most favorite and most powerful tool in Edgewonk. You can tag the different trades that you are taking based on different categories or criteria. And then you can use the custom statistics to further analyze your trades. For example, in this trading journal, the trader is tracking the different timeframes that he is trading. And then the custom statistics in the chart lab help you to understand the performance. Where are you making the most money and where are you losing money? And there are no limitations to what you can track. For example, you can also track patterns that you are trading if you are a pattern trader. You can even track your mental state and how your mental state impacts your trading performance. If you're using indicators, you can also set up a custom statistic for indicators. You can have a custom statistics where you are tracking the general state of the market. Is it a risk on? Is it a risk off day? Is the index up? Is the VIX up? Is the index down? And there are really no limitations to what you can track. The drawdown graph shows you your historical drawdowns in percentage, and it shows you how far away are you currently from the peak of your trading account? For example, here we see the lowest point in the drawdown, which means that this is the biggest drawdown that the trader has experienced in his trading. When we hover over the peak, you can see the highest drawdown is 10.94%. When the drawdown is at zero, it means that the trader is making new highs in his account and there is no drawdown. Currently, you can see the trader is at 1.54% drawdown, which means that he is almost at account peak, not quite because he is 1.54% underneath the peak of his trading account. We can verify this by going to the equity graph and then we look at the account balance and you can see that the trader is very close to the all time high of his trading account. And this is what the drawdown graph shows you and visualizes here for you. The efficiency graph in Edgewonk shows you how well you are respecting your rules and how often are you breaking your rules. For example, a efficiency of 50% shows that on half of your trading decisions, you are breaking your rules and half of the time you are adhering to your rules. So the efficiency is really helpful to understand your trading behavior, your level of discipline and how well you are able to execute your trades. And you could use the efficiency graph as a weekly or a monthly challenge where you want to make sure that the efficiency this month is higher than your last month efficiency. 
We have an exit analysis tool in Edgewonk, which shows you the price behavior of your individual trades. Each trade is represented by a green and a red bar. The red bar shows you how much has the price moved against you during the trade duration. The green bar shows you how much has the price moved in your favor during the trade duration. The black icon shows you where you exited your trade. For example, here in the last trade, there was a big move in your favor during the trade duration. However, the trade was closed, not at the highest point, not optimally, but below the take profit and here where this black marker is. So the exit analysis tool is a very helpful tool to help you understand your trade performance, your price behavior and where you are taking exits. We have of course also the holding time where you can analyze the holding time of your trades. If you are a swing trader, you can visualize your holding time in terms of days. If you are a day trader, you can choose to visualize your holding time in minutes. If you're trading different instruments, different markets, you can go to the performance by instrument analysis tool. And then here we have a bar chart waiting for you that shows and plots the different instruments that you are trading. You can sort it by the value so you can see what is your most profitable instrument, what is your least profitable instrument. If you're hovering over one of those bars, you see the total profit, in this case 644.46 US dollar, whatever your account currency is, and you can use Edgewonk with any account currency worldwide. And you can also see the number of trades that have been taken in this instrument. Underneath the graphs, you'll see a summary. You see your best instrument, which is here the Tesla. The worst instrument, you see also the best instrument on average. So what is the instrument that you have the highest average trade value on, the worst instrument on average, and the number of instruments that you are trading. We have similar graphs for the setup. So if you're trading different setups or trading strategies, you can visualize them here. The performance by time breaks down your trading performance in terms of weekdays. But if you are a day trader and if you want to analyze your trading day, then you can choose a different period setting. For example, you can break down your trading day in 10 minute intervals. And then you can really nicely see what is the most profitable time of day, where you are making the most money, where are you losing money the most of the time. And this helps you then understand when you should be trading and where your trading strategy is performing at best. The R distribution is another very helpful um, charting tool and a graph. And here we plot the R distribution, which is the risk multiple of your realized trades. The risk multiple only works if you're also tracking your take profit and your stop loss in Edgewonk. If you're not using stop loss and take profit orders, then also this graph will not apply for you. But luckily we have so many other different features for you so that you have a lot of options in Edgewonk. We have different performance ratios in Edgewonk that we are tracking. For example, you can visualize your Sharp ratio, the Sortino ratio, the gain to pain ratio, the Kalma ratio, the profit factor, and also the SQN over time. And if at any point in time you have questions about what a specific metric or a performance ratio is, you can move over to our online FAQ. So we go here to the top right under account, you'll find documentation and help. And then here under metrics and stats, you will find the stats and the metrics explained. You click here and then you will see an overview of all the different metrics, ratios and other, and other important numbers in Edgewonk. In Edgewonk, you can tag your trades based on how well you have taken the entry, the exit, and how well you have managed your trade during your trade duration. And then in the trade comments chart, you can analyze your trading behavior and your performance. For example, here we are analyzing the trade entry. The trader took 25 trades with a perfect entry category. Then here he took 11 trades where the entry was classified too late. And this is a great way to understand your trading performance and also to understand how different trading behaviors and how breaking your trading rules or how sticking to your trading rules impacts your trading performance. You can switch around and also analyze your trade exit performance and then get a very detailed understanding into your trading performance and your big trading behavior. The trade management graph is a very important tool because it analyzes how well you are managing your trades. A lot of traders have problems closing winning trades too soon or letting losses run too long. And the trade management graph analyzes your trading behavior. In green, you see your actual trading performance in terms of R multiple. So how much money have you actually made based on the trades that you have entered in your trading journal. In brown or in orange, we have the potential performance. This shows you the performance that you would have realized if you hadn't managed your trade. This means you take an entry, you put your stop loss and your take profit in the market, and then you let the trade run and you don't interfere with your trades. 
For some traders, they will see that the potential performance is above the actual performance, which would indicate that the trader has mismanaged the trades because he could have potentially made more money by not messing around and not interfering with the trade. In this example, when the actual performance is higher than the potential performance, it indicates that the trader has positively managed his trades, which means that the trader has probably let the trades run beyond his initial target or he has closed his losses very effectively. And then we also have the win rate over time, which plots the win rate over your whole trade duration. And those are all, or at least most of the charts that are available in the chart lab in Edgewonk. And again, you can use all of the filters. You can use the custom statistic filters here. You can use your common filters, and you can also use all the other filters in Edgewonk to even further analyze your trading performance and your behavior in the chart lab and also in the equity graph.